Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So today, as you can see by the title, I am testing dupes. So I have done videos with me actually like showing you guys the dupes that I've found, but I figured why not film me trying out the dupes to see if they are or not. And then also this way, it gives you an idea of what a lesser price product looks like. Even if it's not an exact dupe, you might still want to try it out. So I figured let's just sit down, do our makeup and test out a bunch of dupes. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you guys find it helpful. And if you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so we're just gonna jump right to it. I don't have any eyeshadow palettes to try out so we are gonna keep that as pretty neutral. So I figured we could start out with foundation. But before foundation, we're gonna start out with some primer. So for primer, I saw online these two products. So, okay, let's pick. This is gonna be high-end and this is gonna be drugstore. So first we're gonna compare these two primers. So the high-end one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Obviously anything Becca is pretty um, expensive, but I do love Becca products. And we're going to compare it with the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Okay, so here are the prices of each of these products. Obviously, Physician's Formula is not the most affordable of drugstore, but if it can duplicate such an expensive product, then I say it's worth it. Okay, so this is the one from Becca, and this is the one from Physician's Formula. As you guys can see, there is a difference in tones. The Physician's Formula looks a little bit more pinky, and then of course the Becca one looks a little bit more gold champagne. But they look pretty similar, and let's see how they apply on the face and what they feel like okay so here is Becca and I do have wipes so I am gonna be wiping my hands as well as using different sides of sponges using different brushes so nothing gets mixed up so again this is what the Becca one looks like now I'm going to apply the physicians formula uh, right off the bat they have exactly the same consistency so now we have both so honestly, looking at this, and I'm sure you guys can probably see the same thing. I mean, even though they had a difference of tone, a very slight one on the skin, it looks pretty much identical. It felt the same on my hands. It applied the same. They both have glass bottles with a pump. From what I'm looking at, this is definitely a dupe, and there's no reason why you shouldn't pick this up if you were thinking about trying this one. So it is my pleasure to announce that these are dupes. I'm glad that we're starting off on a good note because since we are trying dupes together, like they might not work. Like I said, this is a lot different from me showing you guys a dupe video. But if you are interested in seeing like more dupes or dupe videos, uh, I do have a couple of them. I will link the playlist down below if you guys are interested. Let's move on to foundation. So for foundation, I actually saw some people comparing these two. So the first one is a pure four-in-one Love Yourself -y foundation and concealer, and I have the shade TG3. The one we're comparing from the drugstore store is the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour combination to oily skin makeup and I have the shade 395 Deep Honey. So here are the prices for both of these. I have tried both but I really don't remember how I feel about the Revlon one. Last time I had it was when it didn't even have a pump but I will say I really do love the Pure 4 in 1 foundation. It is matte, it is full coverage, a little bit goes a long way and you can use it as concealer. The reason why it's also called concealer, it literally has a concealer applicator so it's really really cool I really enjoy it but the Revlon one does have different finishes so I made sure to get the one that says combination to oily skin even though I don't have oily skin but the pure in one is a matte foundation hopefully these shades match and I'm just gonna put it on my face obviously uh, we do have an illuminating primer so it won't look as matte on camera but this is why I like using an illuminating primer because I do have more normal to dry skin. I just realized that I literally have things to do after this, so I really hope that I picked some good dupes. This foundation is beautiful. It's not super heavy. A little bit goes a long way and it lasts a really long time. I really do love it. So now uh, I'm gonna try this one out. I will say this is definitely more of a liquidy foundation. The pure one has a little bit more of a thicker, almost gel-like um, formula. So that's definitely something different so far. But if this dries down full coverage in matte and looks good, then we might have some dupe. 
This side is a little bit lighter than this side. Hopefully by the time we finish our makeup, um, they'll look the same. By the way, I do have two brushes that looks almost identical, just letting you guys know, because I don't want you guys to think that I'm using the same brush. Okay, so even if they weren't gonna be dupes, I had high hopes for this Revlon Color Stay Foundation because everybody hypes about it. And I'm looking at my skin and my skin looks a lot more smooth and poreless with this Pure Foundation and a lot smoother. And I am noticing on my forehead especially and on my nose that the Revlon foundation is not sitting well on top of the primer. I just know that my face looks a lot better on this side. So I don't think they, I don't think I would consider them dupes just because I do like the pure foundation a lot better and even the formula has a different texture so I am not pleased to announce that these are not dupes but you know what whatever it's okay you win some and you lose some okay so next we have concealer and I've actually already have done a dupe video about the Too Faced let's I'm gonna keep it on this side the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I duped it with the Milani concealer and I still think that they're very close but ever since the elf camo concealer came out the hydrating one I always thought they reminded me so much of each other but I've never actually put them next to each other so I figured today's the day and also I think they have the same claims and I love them both so much so again this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer super coverage and I do use the shade golden beige and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish and I do have the shade medium sand here are the prices of both it is insane like so crazy I will say obviously the Too Faced Born This Way has a lot more product but it's still a lot of money for a concealer if you don't like buying high-end I do love this concealer so I know how it works and I know that you do get the best coverage if you let it sit so what I'm gonna do is put this on first and let it sit for a minute because I have a feeling that they're gonna be very similar if I just give it some time to sit and I mean if that's all you have to do to get the same effect, I think it's worth it. So I'm going to put on the Too Faced one now. The formula on the Too Faced is a little bit more thin than the e.l.f. one. It's uh, The e.l.f. one is a little bit more like gel-like. I am going to be using an e.l.f. sponge and I'm just going to blend this out. And I'm going to use the opposite side that's clean to blend out the concealer from e.l.f. And I haven't used this Too Faced concealer in a long time and I forgot that it might be the best concealer that's ever been created. Look at all that coverage and it's still luminous, it's not drying, it's honestly amazing. So now I'm gonna switch sides and blend out the e.l.f. one. Obviously the Too Faced one is a little bit more on the yellow tone, but don't look at the tone, look at my under eyes. They are both you know, covered really, really nicely. They look healthy. I really think that the closest thing out there to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer is the e.l.f. one. Like so far, if anything else gets created that's closer to this, it's gonna be this. But leave the camo concealer sitting a little bit longer if you do want more coverage. But I think this is a great concealer overall. It's only $6, so I love them both. They're both amazing, so I am proud to announce that these are dupes. Okay, so I am quickly going to set my under eyes and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back and we can get into bronzer. Okay guys, I'm back and I definitely did my eyebrows way, way too thick by accident, but there's no going back. But if you do want eyebrow product dupes, again, go to that playlist and I will have some for you guys. I just wanna let you guys know that I did set my under eyes as well as my face and any weirdness with the Revlon foundation is definitely gone now that I set it. So I am liking it better, but I still think that this pure foundation does look a lot better on my skin. So I saw online, I believe it was like a Pinterest board, uh, a dupe for the Hoola Original Matte Bronzer, and it is uh, a Wet n Wild bronzer. So let me show you guys. I feel like the Wet n Wild one definitely looks a little bit darker, but we shall see. So again, this is just the regular Hoola Matte Bronzer from Benefit. And this is what it looks like. And this is the Wet n Wild Bronzer in You're Dragging Me Down. 
All right, so here are the prizes. As you guys can see, obviously a really big difference. So everyone loves the Hula Bronzer because um, for a lot of people, it's like the perfect tone, I guess. It's good. It's a good formula. I personally prefer the Hula Caramel. I am a little bit darker, but I know that a lot of people love this to bronze and contour. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze and contour with this and I haven't used it in a while because I always use the caramel one. I do like it because it is neutral, so it's like good to contour, but for me, for bronzer, I do prefer something a little bit more warm tone, but I do know that a lot of people with lighter skin than me, like this is like the perfect one that doesn't make them look crazy. So that is what that looks like. Okay, my lighting is making it look like I look crazy. My lighting is making me look like I put way too much on, but in person, I promise, it looks normal. So now I'm gonna do the Wet n Wild one and I will be using a different brush. I'll make it funny, I'll use my Hula bronzer brush. Again, I don't know why my lights is making it look like this side's a lot darker. The only difference that I see is that the Hula one is actually a little bit more warm tone. Okay, so see how they're very, very similar? Hula is a top and Wet n Wild is a bottom. They have a very similar shade, just the undertone. The Wet n Wild one, as you can see at the bottom, is um, more cool tone. I don't know if I want to call this a dupe because People praise the Hula bronzer for being the perfect shade and undertone. So I don't want to call something a dupe that doesn't have the same undertone. You know what I mean? Because I know that if you are a lot lighter than me, it'll show up more different than on my skin because it's a little bit darker. So for that reason, I'm out and I'm not going to call this a dupe. So not a dupe, but a really good alternative if you don't mind something a little bit cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to blush. So I saw online, all these things I've seen online, but California from Benefit and a Wet n Wild blush, which we know how awesome and inexpensive these are. So here's the packaging, really pretty. Again, Benefit California, and this is what the blush looks like. All right, so here we have the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush, and this is the shade Pearlescent Pink. They are both a satin corally shade. This one from Benefit does look a lot more coral and this one looks more pinky, but a lot of the time, a lot of products will look very similar on the face. So let's apply California. I do like to bring it up to my nose for that sunburnt look. So this is what that looks like. See how it's giving me a little bit of luminosity? Really cute coral shade. And now with a different brush, let's apply pearlescent pink. See how these look exactly the same? Obviously, I feel like you can tell that this cheek's a little bit more pinky. I really think these lights are messing me up because it's making my whole face darker on this side. And keep in mind that the foundation that I have on this side is darker too. In person, they look the same. So I'm gonna swatch them. Okay, so top is Wet n Wild, bottom is Benefit. Obviously now we can tell like the biggest difference, but I really think that in person this looks exactly the same. I know it might seem different on camera, but just trust me when I say that you don't need this if you can't afford it because this literally looks the same in person. So I'm gonna call this one a dupe. I am going to proudly present you a dupe. I mean, honestly, looking at my face, would you even think that I have completely different products on either side of my face? I don't think so. Quickly, I'm gonna add uh, just a little bit of bronzer on my eyes and eyeliner, and then we can test out a mascara. I actually decided not to add eyeliner just so that we could see like what really the mascaras look like. So for mascara, I saw on a Pinterest board that the Maybelline Lash Sensational was very similar to the Benefit Roller Lash. Now, I've actually never tried this mascara. I know, I know. I love mascara. I have so many mascaras, so I try not to, I've been trying not to buy makeup if I don't need it, so I'm just kind of going through my mascaras right now. But obviously, with a makeup channel, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm actually really excited to try this because everyone swears by this. And I do like the Benefit Roller Mascara. I think it does give you a nice curl and separation, but it doesn't give you much volume, so it really just depends what you're looking for. But I am going to curl my lashes like I always do. This is the best eyelash curler ever. It is Kevin Aquan Eyelash Curler. 
It's high end, but it is so worth it. So again, this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And this is what the brush looks like. It is spiky and rubber and curved. And again, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And the brush looks very similar, just a little bit fatter and maybe not as spiky. So like I said, I'm gonna do one coat on each eye, let it dry a little bit, and then go in for the second coat. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So this is what the lashes look like. I do use a lash serum, so that's why my lashes are long. If you're interested, I can link it down below. But here is a really good close-up, I hope. Uh, I think they look very, very similar. I will say the Benefit one I've had for a while, so it was a little bit drier. And this one was brand new, so obviously it was a little bit more like wet. But I think that if this Benefit one was brand new, I think I would have gotten the exact same effect. But I really think that they're complete dupes. I think it gave me the same effect, which is mainly curl separation length and a little bit of volume. And I think that they look beautiful. So here are the prices, obviously really, really big difference, about half the price. I am proud to announce that we have dupes. So the next product that I wanna see if are dupes um, are these glowy powders. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I do have the shade Medium. And then this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder in Glow. Now, I understand why people would say that these are similar. They're both glowy powders, but it's kind of funny because I use them differently. The e.l.f. one, I do like to set the outer parts of my face with to make it glowy. And then the Laura Mercier, I like to use as a base for my highlight. I don't know why, I just, in my mind, the Laura Mercier is more like shimmery and glowy. I'm gonna try them both ways. I'm gonna set my face with both of these and then use them as a highlight starter. By the way, here is the price difference. It's a little crazy, so, you know, we'll see. I do like both of these. I love them both. So even if they're not dupes, they're still good products. So I'm gonna use the Halo Glow Powder. It does have a, a stiffer, a sifter, what? So I'm going to use this brush that I get so many questions about. Guys, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH01. And just set everything. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does give your skin a little bit of glow. It's not super excessive, which is why I like it. It just makes your skin look not as matte, maybe not dewy, but just a little bit more on like the satin side. So I'm gonna grab some on a highlight brush. Even though you can see that, I don't know why, but I feel like this is just a little bit less glowy than the Laura Mercier. But I mean, it is working for that reason. It's just very, very subtle, so. This is what that side looks like. So now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier, and again, this one doesn't have a sifter, so it makes my life really hard. Okay, see how right off the bat, this one's just a lot more glowy? It looks really beautiful. I thought it would be way too much, but it really isn't. This could actually be a highlight on its own, which for a while I was using this as highlight just because it's so beautiful and Subtle, but not too subtle. I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're exact dupes, but they both look beautiful and they serve the same purpose. I really do love the Laura Mercier, but if I had the Halo Glow Powder already, I don't think I would go purchase the Laura Mercier. So I think that does make it a dupe. So I am proud to announce that I think these are dupes. Keep in mind, if you do have the budget for this one, get it if you just want more glow but if you just want a subtle radiance i definitely would get this one and the halo glow one does come in three different shades but i do think that the medium shade is the closest to the laura mercier okay and lastly i do have a highlight dupe to show you guys these two products look at the price difference Oh my God. Here we have the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder, and this is in the shade 50 Watt. And as most of you guys know, here is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. 
Obviously this looks a lot more rose goldy. This looks more yellow gold. So the top is the strobe light from LA Girl and the bottom is Ofra. If I show it to you guys like this, obviously they look different, but look. Once they actually reflect on the light, look how like dead like look how dead on they are. Like seriously. The Ofra highlighters are very, very pigmented, a little bit powder, super, super frosty, and the LA Girl Strobe Lights is a little bit creamier, maybe not as blinding. So it really just depends on what you prefer. Oh no. Well, I know, I just realized that I added the Halo Glow Powder here instead of the Laura Mercier. But I will say, we are not comparing a full face on each other, we're just comparing the product. So I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I guess we'll just, we'll stick to the drugstore here so that you guys can see these two together in action. Sorry about that, but I hope you guys don't mind because we're not doing a side-by-side -side comparison for the whole face, just for the um, products, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab LA Girl. I mean, I guess they are pretty blinding. Uh, like I said, they're actually a lot creamier than the Ofra ones, but I do love the Ofra ones as well, but look at that. I mean, geez, I haven't had a highlight this blinding in a long time. Oh my God. Okay, so now we're gonna apply the Ofra one. Again, let me grab a different highlight brush. This one, very powdery, but really pretty. These highlights should be illegal. I'll put a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit on the tip. Oh my God, I need to tone down my highlights. But before I do, just look at this side and look at this side. Don't tell me that that highlight, as intense as it is, doesn't look pretty much the same. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some, some sponge with some powder to really blend this out because this looks insane. But guys, I mean, do I have to say it? Yes, I have to say it. Price difference. Insane, same shade. This one's a little bit creamier, actually. And yeah, they're complete shade dupes. Complete shade dupes. I am proud to announce that these are dupes. All right, guys, I am back. I set my face and put on some lip liner. Crazy how much lip liner can change your face, right? This is the end of the video. Again, I honestly, like, really, does, it doesn't even look like I have completely different makeup on both sides. I think that even though they were not all dupes, I think we found a lot of great products that are comparable. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know if you guys prefer testing out dupes with me or just have a video of dupes for you guys. Like what's more fun for you guys? Or do you like both? Because I can keep doing both. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you know of any dupes that you want me to test out or just you know share it with everyone. Share your knowledge with us. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.